It's game day, and Evil Ascend and the NFL welcome you to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, Vin. It gets worse here every day. You learn to live like an animal in the jungle where we play. What the hell are you talking about? That shit just pops into his head and comes out through his mouth hole. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Carolina Panthers battle the Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and can litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. And it's first and ten. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense. Don't you just love the sound of bone snap? When the defense calls thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me. You ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the Q. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. First down and five. Ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. 
second down and two. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and 10. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. For the first down. First down and three. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Second and three. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down as guys in a speed feed trip. He's running from his team, it's clear. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and five. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and nine. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. Nail him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, some would argue that demons don't have a place in this league, but with moves like that, <laughs> I have to disagree. Uh, you're just saying that because he'd rip your face off and use it for book binding. I don't see how that's not a valid reason. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but. This guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Yeah. 
here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life he is but he's got no choice and it's first and ten Quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Second down and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can see that, man. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Third down, and the punter is warming up. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Uh, not a ball's feelings are high. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? punting unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh that, well maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here he's got the ball now and is gonna try and score oh that's a vicious hit and the crowd loves it he just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me and you can't hit a guy much harder than that and that is unfortunate And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. 
Third down and five. like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good... Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon eggs, kimchi. I'm not in anything really tastes good. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Third down and five. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt. And oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. bring up second and one that's a catch for a one-yard gain that's not going to do it fellas they stop the clock but they only have one timeout left uh, that's okay Grim. they can have nine that's uh that's nice bricks but our timeouts are for our sponsors and we need money more than they do Nicely done for a first down. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. point attempt it's good the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five And 
it's first and ten. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, hey don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Friend, I just dash. On it. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Oh, I missed it, Ben. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food and there was this mutant leopard line and he left in an angry hop. Why did he leave, Bricks? Well, people kept dipping their chips in him. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. There, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Not any laterals at the last second. Fifty move there. First down. It's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. Scrambler. And that'll be second down and four. He's lucky. And he's off to the races. You know, his great grandfather was in that movie, Alien 17. Ripley when he needed to bust out the big guns. Man, he's just leaving one big skid mark out there. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home. 
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals. And if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que say? What the fuck the fuck the fuck? What did we get out of it? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Three. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Briggs. This is going to get ugly fast. And he breaks through for a touchdown. No. Listen to this crowd. Hey. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Bricks. Second down and a lot. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high. That run is good for nine yards. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Any mistakes here? Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And 
and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. friends was an all-pro NFL hit. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, eight. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Hey. Oh, man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for a steak kebab? Make mine rare. Second down and long offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, three. The ground and the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Hot one, hot two. a killer it was right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league don't do anything stupid here just punt the damn ball and play defense and he booted a high arcing rainbow he's got the ball now let's see what he does with it if there were any functioning bam oh man that's the end of his day he might want to try hurling those traps next time First and ten. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Dunya, was that you? Hey, throw me. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing.
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. It's a good interception. Watch that, Grim. A fabulous interception. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. It's a whole lot of player right there. And that is caught for a first down. First down and five. Whoa, and he lateral. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. There was a big explosion, but then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filming the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. Second down and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I uh, top off my drink. What did I do with that? And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot one, hot two. Oh, with the punishing hit. They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. One, Come on, give me that. Uh, oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, did I kill He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. First and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. point attempt straight through the uprights no here 
here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. That's right, folks. It's all tied up, and we are headed to overtime. I don't know how many players are left alive, but the rest are headed to sudden death. They should call this game Mutant Death League. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Here comes... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> and it's first and ten. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down! <laughs> And it's first and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as he get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because, hell, I try really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...